Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Block Flow. Today I'll be covering the 10 best JoJo Bizarre Adventure anime games in Roblox. Let's get into the video. Number 10, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This game is still in the making and not fully developed. However, it's one of the few bizarre games, but people so far love the game. Killer Queen creates this game. JoJo Bizarre Adventure keeps updating time to time as the creators are still making this game the best among all. Oh, wait, what the hell? All right, so where's the music for this game? All right, I think it's over here. Yo, I love the menu. The menu stuff looks so cool. All right, so there we go. I just muted the music. We can get 1.5 times EXP for an hour. Number nine, it stands online. Stands Online is a Roblox fan game dependent on the mainstream anime slash manga JoJo's Bizarre Adventure by Hirohiko Araki. The game was made by the Roblox designer Boxcat, who has taken a shot at numerous games before this. For example, Dragon Ball Infinity Saga in Clash Blocks. In Stand Online, you increase random stands with irregular aptitudes and stats. This game is kind of unique for its concept. Zero. A sound arrow? What is all this junk? Uh, I hope you get started, you should look around the map for a stand arrow. Stand arrows? When you use unlock a stand, what is this? What are the spawn times? What's number eight? Jojo blocks. This game has over five million above place visits. Without any doubt, this game is one of the best games on Roblox. Apart from this, some people, however, are still against this game, claiming it's a very boring game on Roblox. Jojo blocks is created by Bunga Studio. It's kind of blocks fruits, but it's nowhere near the performance of that game. Jojo is all about stands, but this game does a very bad job on stands. Other than that, it's kind of like rinse and repeat. The main thing in this game is grinding, but really it is good for nothing and it's almost pay to win if you want good stands in this game. But if we forget the repeating part, the quests themselves are kind of good. But uh, Second Season was fire, so I didn't realize you gave me, I didn't realize you put the arrow in me, bro. I thought you just killed me, bro. So I got mad, bro. You see, I, had, I was like, dawg, this dude just killed me for no reason. Number 7, Project JoJo. Project JoJo is a very good Roblox JoJo game. It has average graphics, good maps, good quests, good stands on some unique things, like the fusion that no other Oblique Judges game has. The deaths did a good job overall. It has a character named Dio, who is the boss in the game, and has some unique abilities like Time Stop, Teleportation, Muda Barrage, Repunch, Blood Absorption, Bunny Hop, and Dash. Number 6, Bruh Adventures. Bruh Adventures is a Roblox game inspired by the 7th longest running manga JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This game supports every device. There's a premium shop in this game. You can access it with Roblox Premium. This game's graphic is kind of like a bizarre day, but rather than being a third person perspective, it's a little zoomed in over the overall game like a bizarre day, but it has its own unique take. Number 5, A Bizarre Day. A Bizarre Day is a game claimed by the guest to blame and co-possessed by Tornado98765. The creators are also known as the Bizarre Community. The game was made in December 2018, but it was not updated until 2020. A Bizarre Day is an RPG game dependent on Hirohiko Araki's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manga arrangement. The game itself includes battling NPCs or different players and trading capacities for various capacities. The game has highlights, an enormous guy with a few areas to escape risk. The ongoing interaction comprises dynamic and basic reasoning. Number 4, Your Bizarre Adventure. Created by Bizarre Studios, Your Bizarre Adventure is the best Georgia game for Roblox's entirety. Your Bizarre Adventures is a Roblox game inspired by Bizarre Adventure on the map. There are five main locations, the main city Naples, the train station, the mountain outskirts, and the sewers. All of them have a variety of enemies, it has good graphics, good maps, good story, the devs did an excellent job overall, and in balancing every stance and unlike a bizarre day, you do not need to work hard to get good things. Number 3, Eyes of Heaven. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven is an activity computer game for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 created by CyberConnect2 and distributed by Bandai Namco. In light of the JoJo Bizarre Adventure manga arrangement by Hirohiko Araki, Eyes of Heaven is the second game in the establishment created by CyberConnect2 following 2013's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. Number 2, All-Star Battle. The gameplay of this game is Koichi's principal points of interest are his small size joined with his long arriving at normals and specials. His small size permits him to sidestep certain combos and arrangements all the more effectively or even be resistant. At the point when his adversary whiffs, Koichi gets an opportunity to rebuff. At that point, affirm and do a combo. Koichi likewise has a remarkable capacity to apply a gravity impact on specific moves. Number 1, Phantom Blood Game. At the point when a player acknowledges a spec to turn into a vampire, his or her capacity will be eliminated and supplanted with vampire. Aside from the world which will concede you vampiric the world, and retro the world, which will allow you the world greatest high, the appearance of the vampire is just basic. The vampire has no visual appearance, 
Anyway, its moves have impacts on them. The vampire has a one-of-a-kind purple path on his activities. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.